Hi everyone, so we are live at Vanier College. Uh, we're gonna be doing a virtual tour and showing you around our different departments, speaking with different teachers, different students, about the programs that we offer here and what CJF is all about. So I'll introduce myself, I'm Giovanna. Uh, I'm here with uh, Marlene. Hi everybody, I'm Marlene Grossman. I'm a psychology teacher and I teach in explorations. And we also have Marco Pasucci, who is an academic advisor. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, an academic advisor here at Vanier, helping students with uh, programs and registration. And well, as I said, I'm Giovanna, and I work in the communications department at Vanier. Um, so this uh, project is in collaboration with LEARN. Marlene, do you want to say a few words about LEARN? Uh, LEARN is the leading education uh, English Education Resource Network. They are a resource for all the Anglophone schools, elementary and high school, right across the province. And there you go. So uh, we put together this live tour. It's our third annual one. Um, so we're starting off in the N building. Now, fun fact, uh, the N building was named N because at the time that it was built, it was new, but it was built in the uh, 80s. So it's no longer new. <laughs> we just never changed the name. Um, so in the end building, uh, there's a lot of uh, career programs that we have here in the end building. So we're gonna be showing you some labs, we're gonna be showing you uh, some projects that students have worked on. Um, and we're gonna be going to the uh, main building as well and showing you a bunch of programs there. So if you do have any questions, you can always comment. Uh, we're gonna be answering them as we go. Um, so hopefully we get to yours in time. We have a lot in store today, uh, this evening, so uh, we might pass an hour, but I really hope not, fingers crossed, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, Marco, do you want to explain a bit about the application process? Sure. So, uh, so at Vanier College, students apply to either pre-university or three-year career programs. There is a SRAM uh, application system that students will apply to. It's a three-round system, so uh, students will actually apply for the first round. The deadline is March 1st and there's a $30 application fee. Um, so the, the first choice that you would choose would be the particular program that you really want to get into here at Vanier. And um, then after that, we get our results in and uh, there's a second round and a third round for anyone who may not have been accepted into a program, but has a choice then of putting in a second or third choice. So that goes on between March 1st until I believe mid-May. Mid um, but we guide you through all three round processes. Uh, we're always available for questions and any <laughs> any questions that you may have that is advising or admissions related, you can always speak with academic advising or the admissions office. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so uh, we're at our first stop. Uh, it's a program that's actually very close to my heart because this is what I graduated from when I was in Vanier. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated in 2012. It's the Micromedia program. So let me just turn this camera around so you can get a look. Are you creative? Communications, graph design, and web development. So let's go in and see some students, see some teachers, um, see some projects that they've worked on. So here we have some print design. So these are posters that students have made. Hi, students. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. So you want to explain a bit about the program? Yeah, so welcome, uh, come on in a little bit. Um, so welcome to OST uh, Micromedia. It's a graphic design and web development program, a three-year program. And in this program, we do a lot of uh, printed work. You can see some of the uh, work from our students from uh, past years, as well as a lot of web design, web development, uh, websites, mobile apps, um, and, and things like that. So if you're into, um, if you're creative, if you like art, drawing, uh, like working on computers, um, we do a lot of work with Adobe Creative Cloud, so Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and uh, it's a lot of fun. In fact, I think there's some students in the other classroom oh, yeah? just Perfect. finishing up let's, uh, some projects. Let's go say hi. <laughs> So we've got a, a Mac lab, as you just saw, and then in here we've got a PC lab. Um, just very couple, just a couple of students. Oh. Um, <laughs> they just finished class. They want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Peter. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. And, and so it's important that uh, our students are familiar with both uh, operating systems, so for when they go in uh, work in uh, in industry. Perfect. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah, thank you. So here are some more projects that they've worked on, record covers. 
Oh, here's the resource area. And th these projects are all um, illustrations taken, uh, starting off with a photo project. Um, so you might rec recognize some of those famous people. Mm -hmm. um, Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> These projects here, they started off with a, a drawing that they did by hand, and then they scanned it and brought it in and illustrated it and colored it. And one of the things on, on this one was to work with a color, with, work within a color scheme. So to explore uh, schemes, not just kind of choosing colors uh, um, randomly. Great, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Off to our next stop. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, so yeah, so this is a program basically for anyone who's creative. We also have another program that's a two-year pre-university program uh, that's called Communications Media Studio Arts. We'll be passing by their area later on so you can take a look at their work as well. Um, so this one is three years. That one's two years. Um, next stop would be Architecture, which is also a program if you're interested in design. Um, but more in the construction field. Uh, we won't be going in, but I'll show you some projects that students have worked on. So architectural technology, another three-year technical program. Uh, what's great about technical programs is students uh, have the choice after the three years if they want to go to university or if they want to go uh, straight into the workforce. And to prepare them for the workforce, they have internships that they would be doing uh, while studying in the program. So here are some really interesting designs made by architecture students. Uh, we're gonna go down to the second floor now to speak with uh, business students. So let's go down. Um, I also wanna mention, <clears throat> since architecture is in the construction field, we have another program, technical program, uh, called Building Thank you. <laughs> Building Systems Engineering Technology. Uh, so this program is also three years and it's in the construction field. Architecture is the uh, skin and bones of a structure, but the uh, Building Systems Engineering Technology program is the internal organs. So it's all about how, how you make a building work. Um, air conditioning, heating, um, plumbing. Um, you're not doing the actual work, you're doing the blueprints and you're preparing uh, things for the actual uh, workers. So here we are in the business section. So business administration is a three-year technical program. It's very closely linked to the commerce program, which is a two-year pre-university program. So please know the difference between the two. <laughs> and I believe there are some students here waiting for us, so. Let's see. Hello. <laughs> so this is their um, their resource area. In fact, our our uh, marketing students just competed in a Scotia Bank case competition. So um, this is huge for Vanier because uh, we we're very good in this competition. So hi, we have a student here who wants to say a few words. Hi. <laughs> So what program are you in? I'm in the insurance and finance program. Okay, and what do you do in that program? Where would that lead you later on? Would it lead me to this program? Yeah, oh, well, where would, you, where would it lead you after the program? Well, uh, actually, this is a three-year program, and uh, you can have variable choice, but it's different than university. Uh, it's called a pre-university program, because this is a three-year program. So after that, you can go to university, or you can uh, do your AMF uh, uh, exam and then can work in the insurance company directly going to the work, also bank and other like financial services. Okay, hey, perfect. And do you know uh, a bit about the marketing program, the accounting program? Yes, there is a bunch of students like instead of this research. Oh, they're there, all there? there? Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you just get the door? Sure, no <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. So who do we speak to first? You're which program are you in? Marketing. Marketing? Okay, so tell us a bit about marketing. Hi. What's good? <laughs> uh, a bit about marketing in, ten, in terms of like... Um, what do you do in the program? Where would it lead you afterwards? Where would I go afterwards? Yeah. Well, not you or any student. What, 
like well, what fields? Really depends. Like some people go directly to the workforce, or there's other people that decide to go to university. For example, I want to go to university, but I have a lot of friends that are going directly into like digital marketing or religious marketing in general. In the program, we let a lot of like practical, so like learning how to do a website, learning how to do marketing strategies. We even participate in case study competitions that I was participating this year. We did make it to the finals. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Like if you really like like the marketing side and really want to learn how to like practice a lot of marketing theory, then this program will be the way to go. Great, thank you so much. We have someone else here. Which program are you in? Marketing. Also marketing? Okay. What do you like about the program? Uh, I like that it's very hands-on. In the beginning, you're learning all the technical stuff, and then eventually you start putting into work everything that you learned, and you do like, online simulations where you have a company, and so you can see, you change, like let's say, the prices and things like that, and you can see if the stock companies go up and down with the company because you see how they're doing. So. Great. And are you planning on going to university or workforce? Yes. University? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, thank you. Are you guys in the accounting program? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to maybe say a few words about that? Uh, well, so I'm a third year accounting student. Um, it's a very interesting program. We get a lot of in depth classes about accounting, um, tax, finance, and whatnot. Um, I do plan on going to university. Uh, so there's quite a few students, I think, from the accounting program specifically that are going to university to continue and uh, eventually get bigger CPA. So that's the plan. Great. Thank you. And do you have any words? Oh, uh, no, I'm a first year student in accounting. I'm trying to learn from my seniors, you know, trying to absorb everything they do. They're mentoring me as best as they can. And also, I like a chance to promote myself, if that's okay. <laughs> no, no, this is I'm academic. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, like, I'm a first year. I'm planning to be, like, a student body president, so I'm running for that in April. So I was hoping to promote myself out there. And, you know, these people have been helping me a lot. Marketing and accounting, they tell, they're teaching me, like, business. Oh, how to market yourself. There yeah, you go. Exactly. <laughs> so like say, See, it's very practical. <laughs> thanking everybody out there. Thanks, Terry. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. There you have it. Sorry? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so there you have it. We have three business programs um, in comparison to the commerce program. Uh, so we have a teacher here who wants to say something. <laughs> Hi. I'm just hiding here. Oh, you're hiding. Do you not want to be on camera? Okay. Okay. Okay, um, go ahead, say a few words about the programs. Um, I guess how students can get into the programs. Admissions information. If you don't have that, I could, I could explain it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's our deadline, March 1st? First, yeah. <laughs> so basically, students, it's a great place to come to school. We have hands-on learning look at six... It's 6.15 and I'm still here. This is our prospectus. You can get it online. All our programs are on here. Your math requirements that I know you're so gung-ho on, you can find them in the insert, so right before page one. And then our business administration programs, you can find starting on page 82. And you can read about them and you can compare them to our commerce program. So you're gonna look at the courses you're offered and if you want to, you can compare them to the pre-university programs earlier and just look at the difference in the courses and what you're going to study. And that'll give you an idea of whether you should join us. And I think you really should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, very, very. Thank you. <laughs> That's my spiel for open. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have enough students in there? Yeah, yeah it was okay. great. Are we all done? Yeah. Okay, I go home. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yes, you could go. <laughs> See how dedicated Van Nuys students are? They're staying late on a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, so, where are we? Next stop will be uh, ECE. ECE, yeah. Early Childhood Education. So, another three year program. Um, it's so students can become uh, daycare educators once they graduate from the program. Um, once again, university, always an option. Um, on our way there, I'm actually going to speak about the SCC program, which is Special Care Counseling. 
Uh, so this program in particular is to, uh, to work with uh, students or children or even adults who have um, learning disabilities, physical disabilities, mental disabilities. Um, so it's really if you enjoy helping people, if you enjoy um, getting to know people, uh, it's a really great program for you. This is about special care counseling. Um, and we are about to see early childhood education. Thank you. <laughs> So both great if you want to go into the education field. Here we go, let me turn the camera around. So early child education on the first floor of the end building. Let's see, they have a nursery here. So I'm hoping to get access. It's really cool, you have to see it. I don't know if anyone's in there. Oh, hi. <laughs> How's it going? How was the tour? Very good. <laughs> so, um, did you want to explain a bit about ECE? Sure, so these are the ECE digs in the end building. ECE is one of the three-year technology programs and our graduates go on to work with young children in daycares and in after-school programs and some of them go on to university and study to be teachers, social workers and stuff like that. Yeah. Great. So you want to show us the nursery? Absolutely. <laughs> so this is our... Oh, it's locked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done with my keys either. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's a bit of a blip. It's yes. fine. So um, <laughs> look around. I'm going to go find my yeah, keys. Yeah, in the meantime we'll yeah. talk about other programs. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what else is on the itinerary? Um, Architecture, reset. Yeah, I spoke about those. Do we maybe want to talk about the Explorations Program? Sure. So, so the Explorations Program, there's basically two kinds of explorations. There's passages and there's prerequisites. Pre passages is for students who may not have done as well in high school as they would have liked to have done. Um, and it's sort of your second chance to get your marks up a little bit to then apply into other programs that you might be interested in. The prerequisites program is for students who missed out on some of their math or science credits in high school um, and need to take them to go into either the science program or another one of the career programs that have science or math prerequisites. Um, and that's why the name is prerequisites. Um, and that's basically explorations. Um, Mark, did you want to put anything in there for explorations? No, I no? think you got okay. it all. I mean, a lot of our students, the success rates actually I can talk about with the exploration students I have. For the, there are a lot of students that I've seen that actually will get into uh, Vanier programs after completing uh, a semester or two of explorations programs. And they actually do uh, very well. The success rates are quite good. Um, and um, so many of them then complete the science or three-year programs. And they, again, stick around. Uh, for the three-year programs for additional uh, prerequisites if they need to and they make their way into university so it might just be a one-year transition period for students to pick up the prerequisites they need but they eventually uh, get everything that they do need and make their way into the uh, SEJA programs and eventual university so it's a great program great thank you so much we have the key for the nursery uh, yes. for early childhood education <laughs> we do keep the door locked because yes. during the day we have a group of 10 uh, lovely children in here from ages three to five. So we keep the door locked during the day, but I'm gonna let you in to the lab and we can see what's going on in here. Come on in. Oh, wow. oh how cute, these little I've cubby holes. Oh, this is oh, great. Nice. So you walk yeah. through the cubby area there and we have everything that children will need to have a great day. Uh, in child care and some of you will remember what's going on in here from your own days in daycare mm -hmm. blocks and books and painting all kinds of wonderful um, natural materials and in here we've got some snow and some polar bears it's not real snow right now but tomorrow it will be the sandbox is open Valentine's Day is happening at the Art Center, all the costumes. Uh, during the day, this is often a restaurant that serves delicious smoothies for clients <laughs> that come by. Uh, and you can see the children's art. 
displayed all around yeah. the room as well. And we have a beautiful view out on the mm. Vanier campus as well. But this room does have a little secret mm -hmm. to it. Yes, it does. And I'd like to show that to you now. <laughs> so uh, maybe if you want to stay, you guys want to stay here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get you to stay here. Giovanna and I will go next door and we're going to see what happens there. So come on right into the room. Pay attention to this mirror. <laughs> and in a this is the secret. Way, <laughs> start singing a song about ABC. <laughs> I don't know about singing. It's kind of like CSI Miami. Come this way. Oh, look at that. So one of the really exciting things that happens in the lab is we have this special observation room. Joanna pointed out the uh, big mirror in the other room. When we come in this observation room, you'll see... That from this side, Hi guys! <laughs> so we can see them, but they, they can't see us. Yeah. Can hear them as well. <laughs> and so here we have our um, monitors as well that can show you what's happening in the lab. So my students come in here and we observe the children and their behaviors, and you can see the monitors here. So we can see those guys in the lab. We can see the entryway when the parents come and drop off. And so my students sit in here and write down their observations of the children and their behavior. A very important skill for uh, early childhood educators mm -hmm. to be able to understand why children do the things that they do. Right. <laughs> so that's the secret observation room here for the uh, ECE lab nursery. Thank you so much for showing us this. And I'll be here for another couple of minutes to answer any questions or if you've got any comments to send my way. Yeah, if anyone has questions, don't hesitate to comment. I haven't gotten any comments yet, which is odd because usually it blows up, but uh, we'll wait. <laughs> sure. Thank you. We saw you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank so uh, I kind of lost a bit of connection in there. Um, so I'm hoping it worked. I mean, I'm still live, we're good, but I hope nothing cut off. <laughs> um, so that's really interesting, that room. Um, a lot of you may not be able to see it. So um, it's very exclusive that you saw it through this live. Very hands-on. Very hands-on, yeah, exactly. That's what's great about the technical programs. Um, I'm gonna talk a bit about social sciences um, because a lot of, students who want to go into teaching either take early child education or they take social sciences uh, or special care counseling which is uh, the program I had mentioned earlier. Uh, so the social sciences have a child have a, has a child studies major uh, which is uh, more theoretical than practical. Yeah sorry Ooh, I just want to show you this is really neat. Special care counseling. <laughs> Empowerment, empathy, compassion, creativity, needs. Very nice. Um, yeah, so social science is more um, theoretical than practical. So there's child studies, there's psychology, um, there's also law and society, uh, international studies, and uh, sports and leisure. So those are all the majors as part of the social sciences. Um, and there's also the general profile, so if you don't know which major to choose, you could just go in the general profile, get a taste of everything, um, and that's the most um, broad education you could possibly get before going to university. Um, I'm just going to put my coat on so I don't freeze outside. <laughs> uh, we are headed to the main building. Um, in the meantime, do you maybe want to talk about getting to Vanier? Yeah. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> so um, Vanier is located in the borough of St. Laurent. It's pretty central to Montreal. If you're not from Montreal, it's pretty central in Montreal. Um, very easy to get to. We ha are in the, between two major sub, uh, metro lines. Uh, du Collège is one of them and, uh, and, and uh, Côte d'Arthur is the other. So very easy to get here um, from wherever you are on the island. Um, obviously, if you're off island, it's a little harder to get here, but still uh, many, many students do. And so very doable. You just have to get up a little bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So I've got my coat on. We've all got our coats on and we're going to head back to the main building. So actually, I'll show you the path. 
Um, don't be scared, students. There are lockers in both N and the main building. So if ever you do need your coats, there is a place to store them while you're in class. Uh, so you're not uh, freezing as you walk outside. Um, you don't have to feel the cold tonight, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not too cold. Last no, year there was a storm. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it kind of looks like a snowmageddon at the moment. Oh, the garden's there too. Exactly. So in the summer, um, this path is actually full of green. It's really nice, really beautiful. Vani is actually uh, very well known for our green space. Um, so we are passing by the gardens, which right now are per currently covered in snow. Um, but we do have gardens that students can plant uh, vegetables, um, flowers, anything they want. Um, it's a community garden, so you you give and you take. Um, so it's really nice, obviously not right now. <laughs> um, two other programs I want to mention. So since we're talking about gardens, uh, if you are passionate about the out great outdoors, uh, we have the Environmental and Wildlife Management Program. Uh, so another three-year technical program. It's science-based. Um, so uh, you do a lot of soil, water, air, plant testing in labs. Um, and, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of chemistry involved. Uh, also, if you are keen on uh, wildlife protection, on climate change action, uh, this is a great program to go into that, as you study the... the oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so hold on, let me just turn this around. This is what the end building looks like on the outside. So, once again, it was built in 1986. <laughs> no longer new. Um, so that was environmental wildlife management. The other program I want to speak about is the animal health technology program. So, which is also located in the end building. Um, but unfortunately there's no labs going on right now, obviously. School's closed. Um, but uh, it's basically to become a uh, veterinary technician. So if you have a love for animals, if you want to help animals get better, um, you could work in a clinic. Um, you're not becoming a vet. To become a vet, it's to uh, be a doctor, which in that case, health science would be the route to take. Um, but you're a technician, you're still very well paid and you're still um, surrounded by animals during your job. So um, how much fun is that, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you should see- a lot of students so that start off in the three-year program and then work on some uh, university prerequisites uh, here at Vanier, they, they stay an additional uh, year. They work on, for example, uh, three math courses and three physics courses, and they make their way into the University of Montreal. Those well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. See? It's good to have an advisor, so you have uh, an idea of what the universities uh, will be like. Oh, we got our first question. Oh, wow. Um, concerning the exploration program, what's the average that you need to get in for explorations? Oh, uh, the average. Um, that's a good question, actually. The, uh, the cutoffs, I think, I don't have it with me. If I remember correctly, uh, can we post it afterwards an accurate? We can. Kind of, you can, yeah, you can we comment can, on we it can comment as well. Okay. I believe to get in, it's usually between 70, 75%. Um, and however, they do, we do also base admissions on the uh, cutoffs for... Uh, cutoffs for uh, the program that they intend to go into, but I believe it's between 70 to 75 percent for uh, for explorations programs. Okay. The passages as well, I think it might be a little bit lower than that, but I can get the uh, the exact uh, cutoffs uh, in my office, and I guess we'll post them later. Yeah, or? we can post them okay, later. Great. You can comment on it. All right. Great. Um, just to let you know that Academic Advising also has a Facebook page. Oh, that's right. So yes. you can comment from that page well, well. to this uh, to this post. Um, sorry, we're just getting our coats off. Um, what else did I want to talk about? about? General education? Yeah, general education. Okay, so general education. While you're, stay, while you're uh, studying here at Vanier, um, basically, no matter what program you're in, you will be required to take Englishes and Humanities and French. I believe it's four Englishes, three Humanities, and two French classes. Um, and you take... And phys ed. Oh, yeah, we can't forget phys ed. Um, and, and three phys eds, I believe. Um, and, uh, and you take those as part of your loads every semester um, while you're here. 
there anything yeah. else? Great, thank you. <laughs> so we just took off our coats. We're going to head up to uh, the nursing department. So does anyone have questions for nursing? You can comment now. We're going to be seeing their labs. Uh, so while we're here, you're going to be seeing our cafeteria. Oh, here you go. We have some foosball tables. This is our calf. It's Chartwell's. Um, further down, we have Jake's Mall, uh, and there's a ca cafe called Jake's Cafe. It's student run. It's a co-op. Uh, and we also have the bookstore, the Vine Bookstore, which is um, also a co-op. So these hire students. So students who are looking for students who are looking for uh, part-time jobs while they're studying, um, you can work at Vine itself. What happened? It doesn't lock. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't see why it doesn't lock, though. It's weird. We tried pressing the button, it still doesn't lock. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, on our way to the nursing department, um, well, it's nursing and respiratory and anesthesia technology. So, these two programs are very closely linked as they're both in the health field. Um, so, I'll take that opportunity and talk about science. Yeah. Yeah, we have to walk up four flights of stairs. <laughs> See you there. Uh, so, nursing and rat. Um, very closely linked to the health field, uh, directly in the health field, and you're gonna be uh, studying um, less theoretical, more practical. If you do wanna go into the health field and are looking for more theoretical, obviously there's a health science program. Um, also, Science is two branches. Sorry, I'm going up four flights of stairs here. Many students have really great workouts. <laughs> uh, so the science program, there's health science and pure and applied. So health science is based more on biology, on chemistry, so you can go into the health field. Whereas the um, pure and applied sciences is more based on physics and math and more into the engineering field. So if you do have any questions on those, you can comment. <laughs> Uh, we also have, whew, sorry, <laughs> we also have a uh, computer science and math program, which I will be talking a bit about later because we're going to go more into the technology uh, departments, so you will see some labs there too. Okay, <laughs> I'm Marlene. <laughs> she cheated. She went on the <laughs> elevator. Marco, Woo. <laughs> Marco went to get the cutoffs. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Ooh, I took the stairs so that I don't lose service in the elevators. All right, we made it to the nursing lab. Let's see, I'm supposed to have access to my key. There we go. So this is some simulation lab. Oh, we have a little sick child. And he's holding a teddy bear. So in the nursing and rat, um, I would say RAT, it's Respiratory and Anesthesia Technology. <laughs> in these two programs, uh, they, um, they actually do practical work with real patients, which are mannequins, but they act as real people. They blink their eyes, they uh, talk, they, I mean, the woman even gives birth. <laughs> they bleed, they breathe. Uh, so you name it, it's a really great experience for, uh, for the students in the programs. So you can see he has a mask on. That's part of the respiratory anesthesia program and how they help uh, with the respiratory system. And we have nursing, obviously. Oh, we have another patient in here. Two patients. Oh, and a baby. Oh, no. She just gave birth, you see? I wasn't lying. <laughs> um, and as you can see, there is another two-sided mirror, as they have in the... Um, early childhood education program. So, oh. <laughs> so the teachers can observe the students actually performing procedures on the patients, uh, and that's how they get marked. So, here we go. I hope he gets better. <laughs> uh, hmm, where to next? Next stop. 
Yeah, next up is industrial electronics. So anyone interested in technology, uh, robotics, automation, you name it. Let's go this way. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, so on other programs that are linked to the technology and engineering field, we have computer engineering technology, another technical program. Once again, if you're interested in technology, you may want to go into sciences, the pure and applied sciences. Otherwise, technical programs are just as good, if not better, as you get the work experience while you're in the programs. So computer engineering technology is very hard, hardware based. Um, you're programming computers, you're um, fiddling with, uh, with the wires, with the microchips, and all that. Um, their labs are shared with industrial as well. Oh, there's Jason. Hi. <laughs> so, oh. so Jason will explain a bit about industrial electronics. Um, so listen closely. Uh, there's a lot of things to show, a lot of equipment. So he's going to show you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you guys for joining us this evening. We have. Uh, I'll show you a few pieces of equipment here. Mm -hmm. This is some industrial control hardware. These are Arduinos. I'm sure a lot of high schools are using them today and competing with them. These are industrial control valves that are made into us. We offer you have to control mechanical equipment, so it's important to understand what you're controlling. And we often get uh, students who like to take things apart, students who like to work on their cars and so forth. If you have mechanical aptitude, you'd like to know the electronics, the software, and the controls that's controlling your mechanics, your manufacturing systems, and so forth. Come with me, I'd be glad to show you some more. I've got with me here my main man, Steve. So Steve is graduated from our program and he's making some career moves. He's still thinking exactly what he wants to be involved in. I think he already did some industrial control work, one yeah. of your stages, and now looking at the aviation business, the aeronautics business. Yeah. Uh... Well, with this uh, with this program, um, it's one of the classes, which is uh, it's professionalism, right? Yes. If I remember. And um, the and you were the teacher at that time, and you pretty much uh, gave us tools on how to make the ideal CV and how to you know prepare yourself for when the interview comes and how to respond and stuff, the approach it. And um, there's also uh, where you have to find a uh, um, a place to do your stage, or he will help you find a stage. Luckily, he got me a stage at Laurentide Controls, which uh, well, you can say it's like an engineering firm where I was as a sales engineer. It was awesome. I mean, cool people, and it was over the summer, so it was the best experience. Thanks, dude. Great. We have some of our equipment here, uh, and I have a few notes that, because I'm a teacher. and I, I, <laughs> You I like to write things down? So we, we, do a, we control electrical energy to produce results. Uh, that I said to many people, the modern car today, the engine isn't much different than it was 100 years ago, but the efficiency and the performance comes from the electronics. So this is where you learn to manage AC power, energy management, renewable energies, and so forth. This is industrial control hardware. Some people may recognize this is an industrialized interface. Our students learn wiring systems to connect this. They also learn the programming of it. It's unlike standard control, uh, standard computing equipment. This is very, very robust stuff. This makes factories go around the clock. It's, this is well programmed. These devices, this is an ABBDCS. This is a Siemens controller, Allen Bradley controller. Those are the big names. And these devices will run for decades if they're properly programmed and installed. What's really new and interesting, and we have some recycling equipment here. Mm -hmm. this, some, these are re simulations of recycling factories. And I have a few notes. Yeah. I think you guys have a full agenda. A few things that you should be aware of. So the program's industrial electronics, number 243.c0. In fact, uh, if you're looking on the provinces or states, the name that you may see is Electrical Engineering Technology, and we will be changing that soon. Oh, awesome. So we've been working with the Ministry of Education on that, which is the name that you commonly see. Right. <laughs> things you should see, this is very interesting. Industry 4.0 is the new way of manufacturing. We'll be building assembly lines and manufacturing systems that produce unique objects, unlike traditional devices that produce many, many items that are identical. 
Montreal want to be the leader in this, as they are for things like in, the, in uh, artificial intelligence. Did I think that? Yes. Yeah, right. Montreal, a world leader in that. They intend to be in Industry 4.0, and they're doing very, very well at it. We have some excellent partners with us. Industrial Internet of Things, read. Uh, things like renewable energy, robotics, automation, process control, data acquisition, microcontrollers. And one important thing to note, our program offer Alternatives Travail which is the ATE program. My colleague, uh, uh, San Andrea, and perhaps you've mm -hmm. met Andrea this evening, uh, helps me with that. Alternatives Travail is what we offer in career programs for students who want to get paid stages while they are studying. So you finish with two, th well, several things. One, your education, two, experience, and three, a network of connections in, in the business, which you've been working on, Steve. It's all true. <laughs> oh, and one last thing. This oh, yes, the we laser. Have partners, ABB yes. and Everest Automation. This thing right here shoots freaking laser beams. That's cool. Come and join us. Come to Vanier, shoot too. laser beams. Thank you. Thank you. Go to our website. Any questions you want? It's a laser. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, this is great. Thanks for doing this. Thank great you. Bye. Bye. Go, go, go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so thorough. So perfect. Nobody could have explained it better. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was industrial electronics. Um, we're also in the uh, area for computer engineering, which I explained a bit earlier. Uh, we also have computer science technology. Uh, whereas computer engineering is more hardware, computer science is more uh, software. So you're doing a lot of programming, uh, web design, um, software uh, applications. Don't forget uh, to follow me on IG. <laughs> 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 um, so there you have it. Um, in comparison, computer science technology with computer science and math. Um, that one in particular, uh, one is two years, one is three years. So the one with math is two years, technology is obviously three years. Um, and what do we have here? This is the robotics room. We actually have a competition coming up um, on Thursday. So this is the STEM Center. They're designing their kiosk at the moment. How cute. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You'll see, you'll see the Spoiler finished alert. product on uh, Thursday and Friday and Saturday. So it's a three-day competition. So robotics is extracurricular, but if you do want to do this as a living, the program that we just visited would be a great one. No, huh? No? You don't want to be on video? No? It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's head out. Oh, yes. Um, ooh, I don't know if she's still watching, but um, Ali had a question about the cutoffs. So, Marco, if you want to so go back it's, into that. It's as I said, for explorations, uh, the prerequisite program is between 70% and 80%. So, it's depending on the future program. The range is there because every program has different cutoffs. So, between 70 and 80%, depending on the future program that you're trying to get into. We also have specific minimum requirements for math and high school courses as well. And for the expirations passages, the percent, uh, the percentage cutoff to get in is 69%. So there you go. Those are the cutoffs for the expirations. For expirations. Oh, how do you get? Oh, it's a pull door. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So once again, very dedicated students studying at Vanier who are <laughs> preparing their kiosks for robotics competition late at night on a Tuesday. Very dedicated. Um, so that was in our STEM Center, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics Center. Um, we are crossing our library at the moment, um, which also has a tutoring center. And a writing center. And a writing center, correct. For those of you who need help with their writing. There you go. <laughs> and they just recently were certified also from the... Um, the writing center? Yeah, the, the, uh, well, the task, actually. I think all of the tutoring, the peer tutoring that uh, has, been, has just received some... Uh, official uh, certification, I think from the, I forget what the acronym is, CLR, I think. Uh, okay. International, uh, I'll find that now, actually. <laughs> so this is our library. There's three floors. Uh, we're not going to go up. <laughs> we, we saw it in, in, in the video two years ago, so. Uh, we are now going by the communications department. So communications, media, studio arts. 
So once again, for you creative souls who like to paint, who like to draw, who like to do photography, videography, uh, theater as well, anyone interested in journalism, this would be the program for you. So this is a photography lab. Hmm. You guys can write questions. I only got three questions. <laughs> here you go. They, they were just accredited by the CRLA. The, the task center? Yeah, tutoring the task center? Tu pure tutoring center. That's okay. Right. Which is the uh, College Reeling and Learning Association Awards. That's College amazing. Association. Here we have a studio for the communications program. Here's some work that students have done. Some other sculpture work over here. Oh, this one's really nice. There you go. See, we've got a lot of talented students here in many different fields on top of it. So once again, this is a two-year pre-university program. Uh, we're going to head down. Our next stop is student services and then continuing education. Um, so we're going to head down, but uh, as we go down, I'm going to explain a bit about the other pre-university programs. So we just saw communications. There's obviously um, social science, science as well, computer science and math, um, and there are four others. So four others? No, sorry, my notes are wrong. <laughs> Um, there's the Languages and Cultures program. So if you want to learn a language, uh, how to speak, how to write, how to communicate, translate, uh, and all that. So Languages and Cultures would be a great program. Um, even if you are interested in languages and not, are not necessarily in that program, you can still take a language course as a complimentary. Um, so as Marlene explained earlier, that's part of the general education. Um, so uh, you get two complementary courses that you take that are outside of your program of choice. So uh, languages could be one of them, painting could be one of them if you're a science student, for example. Uh, another great program that we have is uh, liberal arts. So anyone interested in history, in literature, in, um, in art history, in politics, in um, classics. Uh, so liberal arts uh, is really based on that. Um, so there's a lot of students who uh, want to go into university in history or even law. Um, so that would be a great program for that. Uh, and we have reached student services. Here we are. So we have Andrea here. Hi. Hi, welcome. Um, so my name is Andrea. I'm a social worker here at Vanier College. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our student services. I have no cards because we have so many amazing services here. I don't want to forget any of them. If you have questions, you can comment right now. Yes, yeah, so if you're um, wondering about services, well, I'll get into them and then if you have questions. Um, so this is, uh, we're located in C203. Um, so I'm a social worker. I'm a, member, I'm a member of the mental health and wellness team. Um, and we are a team of, I'm a social worker, and we have a psychotherapist, psychologist, and we offer free and confidential counseling to any students who might have um, you know, you could have, be having difficulties at home or in relationships or just navigating mental health challenges. Um, so there's definitely a service here uh, for you. We have drop-in. Um, you can come in and drop in for an appointment uh, Monday to Friday and we'll set you up with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it is a drop-in service if you want a counseling appointment. Um, related to this, we're currently working on our um, VSAUCE, which is Vanier's um, Sexual Outreach and Support. It's under the um, mandate and, and the objective for sexual violence prevention and response. So we want to make sure that survivors or victims of sexual violence have a place that they can go for support or um, accommodations if necessary. And also we're working on prevention and outreach, um, promoting a culture of consent here at Vanier. Um, we also have career and employment uh, services here at Vanier. We have um, a career counselor who might help you with your longer term, whether it's or just identifying what you might be interested in, and then shorter term employment uh, support, so for job seeking, interview, um, practicing, CV prep, that kind of thing. So we have those two um, services that we offer. 
We also, um, you saw upstairs, I think there was the ATE they mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, Alternance Travail Etude. We have um, a worker here who, um, well, support worker, she's going to help students if they're interested in this program. It's for more of the technical and science um, engineering tech programs for paid internships during the summer. Um, we do have access services. For, so for students who might need some specialized support services, anyone with um, either a learning, physical, or medical disability, um, or mental uh, ch health challenges, we do have access supports here. So essentially, um, accommodations, specialized learning support, um, accommodations can look like extra exam time or note taking, a quiet room to write uh, your assignments. So we do have a really robust team of access advisors who can help students. Um, a diagnosis and documentation is required to access the services, but if you don't have the paperwork, we can also help you navigate that and want to make sure that you get it. So it's better to come and ask for the services and have us help you get the paperwork. Um, the earlier the better, essentially, when you start your um, school, or if you just realize that you're you're having difficulty and you're not sure what's going on, then come on down and we can maybe help you figure out what, what's up. Um, and let's see, we, got, we also have a financial aid officer, so who's going to help navigate loans and bursaries. Um, we have a book bursary program, we have holiday baskets for students in need. Um, his name is Jim, you can uh, take an appointment with him if you need help navigating that. We also have a nurse here four days a week, so health services, uh, they offer vaccinations, testing, contraception, um, sexual health related, anything like that, but also just if you have a, um, if you're not sure, you've got a health issue, you can come on down and book an appointment with him. Um, and we have a student advocate, so if you're having difficulty, um, if you have any academic complaints or there's a great dispute or anything like that, you can um, come and request to speak with our, our student advocate. And finally, we have, um, well, it's not quite finally, but it's more of um, some of the fun stuff and some of the more different uh, sort of particular student, or I'm not sure what I'm saying, anyway, other <laughs> student services. It's all under services. you guys, yeah. So Student Life um, does more events, workshops, um, they have uh, social, oh, that's our, our nurse, John, can say hi. Hi. This is uh, <laughs> our nurse who's here four days a week. <laughs> anyway, we're live on the Facebook. <laughs> so, Student Life, they offer, yes, fun things, workshops, that kind of thing. Sustainability is an umbrella under Student Life, so promoting um, how can we green Vanier. Uh, we also have an Indigenous Student Center, um, a space for our Indigenous students um, to come. And... There's also a STAR program, so our students can have volunteer hours. You can essentially, like any student could volunteer 60 hours and have a, a STAR recognition on their transcript. Um, Giovanna talked about Jake's and our co-op downstairs that falls under student services. And finally, the athletics and sports complex. So that's, um, you're not gonna visit that there today, but outside, um, next door, we have a beautiful, we have gym facilities, a pool, dance studios, racquetball courts, and all sorts. We have lots of varsity sports teams and uh, extracurricular that we can get involved in. So if you're curious about any of those, C203. Thank you so much. I don't have any questions. Nobody commented during that time, but uh, <laughs> if you... Sorry? Yeah, it's, it's so... Have your note cards. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. All right, take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye. All right, there you go. That's student services. One more stop. Yeah, one more stop. We're going to be talking to someone from ConTed. Uh, before we do that, um, I do want to talk about the bilingual programs that we have here. So Viney College, as you know, is an English CJEP, um, but we do have so two programs, the science program and the social science program, uh, that are also offered uh, in English and French. So uh, we have a partnership with CJEP Saint Laurent, which is the French CJEP right next door. And we have students that go back and forth between both programs, uh, both CJEPs, um, in the two programs of science and social science. Um, so now we have Mackie from Continuing Education. Hello. Hi. So what can you tell us about Continuing Education? And sorry, just a note to our viewers, if you have questions, you can comment. <laughs> All right, so Continuing Education, we offer a wide range of credit and non-credit courses. 
So for the credit course, we have the night school and summer school, but also the attestation collegial studies program. So these are short, relatively short, intensive and tuition-free programs with the adult clientele in mind. So right now we offer eight programs, and there are audio recording technologies, uh, computer-assisted drafting, computerized financial management, or internal education. There's a lot of courses, so there is something for everybody. And uh, these courses are, are really great because they are offered uh, in full-time daytime programs or full-time but evening and Saturday, so it can really suit any schedule. Some programs also offer a stash, so you can gain real work experience while studying. So that's kind of it for the for the credit courses. We also offer uh, have language school that offer uh, French and English courses full time or part time, as well as foreign languages part time courses. So if you are hoping to improve your brush up on your skills in English or in French, um, you can take courses in the evening. Or there is also courses uh, full time courses that we offer both in English and French. So these can be great if you are hoping to improve your English and academic content. Context, we also offer academic writing courses uh, starting in April. Uh, for all the questions you might have, if you wanted to find out more, you can come and see us at Office E115 at Bunny College, or you can also visit us at bunnycollege.qc.ca slash contact. Perfect. Right. Straight to the point. Thank you so much. <laughs> See, we even have employees who stay late after work. <laughs> um, so that concludes the tour. Um, there is one more program I want to talk about, which is music. Um, so I don't know if they're. We will walk down and see if they're uh, if they're there. Actually, um, one thing about content as well. Yes. Is, uh, they are. They do offer also credit courses uh, in the evening. So sometimes students who are thinking of completing a pre-university program or some prerequisite courses can actually register for these courses in continuing education during the evening division. And um, we also rely on content. They do offer uh, summer classes. So students in the daytime who feel that they want to maybe lighten their load in their subsequent semesters can always take a summer class and that too is done through continuing education. So they work with the daytime division. The, uh, the services are, uh, are seamless between the day and night as well. So. Excellent, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a question. Um, how many percent of your students are accepted to UDM or McGill in health science? Uh, I don't know. I don't, we don't have, we those, don't on have hand. those on hand. <laughs> we, we have, Sorry. Uh, what I can say is that we do have a uh, considerable amount of students that are actually getting into UDM and UCAM programs. Speaking of uh, you can also, we, we now also have a deck BOC mm -hmm. that has been worked out with them. So we've, uh, we've had an articulation agreement with the uh, Université de Québec à Montréal uh, and the 410 program, which we went to see earlier yeah, today. Yeah, the, uh, the marketing program. Yes, the marketing program actually has a deck BOC program. So students are actually able to complete a deck and a BOC, and, and a BOC a BBA uh, administration the, the diploma at UCAM in less than, in a little over, um, I guess four years, four and a half years around. So it's actually, it's, uh, we've actually worked out the, uh, the articulation agreement with UCAM. So there are a lot of opportunities for students who are coming also from the French sector and want to make Vanier their first post-secondary experience. Many of them do uh, go off to both not only McGill and Concordia, but other universities here in Quebec and elsewhere. Great. Uh, we have a, a, a comment from Catherine. I guess that's your name. <laughs> um, she's a graduate from Vanier College. She has a bachelor's from Concordia and a master's from McGill. That's amazing. See wow, how far students her, go? Right? <laughs> um, and her, she met her husband at Vanier. That's so sweet. Oh, that's <laughs> so we bring big people together too. <laughs> this is I'm a graduate. Valentine's yeah. well. it's, a, it's a love story, Vanier. <laughs> I'm also a graduate from Vanier College. Yeah, yeah. and as so, am I. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Three yeah, alumni here. My, my girlfriend as well, who's now my wife. Well, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, um, too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, where was I going with that? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. So should we have a master's degree at McGill? Yeah, so, um, so we have a lot of alumni, uh, notable alumni from Vanier. Um, we just want to let you know that we have our 50th anniversary coming up. Uh, it's going to be in the year 2020, 2021, and we're kicking off um, that year with a huge gala um, at, organized for our students, our staff, our alumni, uh, so you may want to look into that. Um, 
So uh, it, it's if you go on uh, Vanier on our website, there's a tab for alumni. So you can see our 50 faces of Vanier, which are notable alumni. Uh, we also have um, a Vanier Connect, which is a portal that uh, that you can uh, they can go on to to speak with you know previous teachers, with other students. Um, uh, there's also job postings that are there. So we really want to help our students succeed even after they uh, they graduate. Oh, it's 7.02, okay, let me just talk quickly about music. Um, this is a rotunda, it's a great acoustics in here. <laughs> uh, the choir room is through this door. Um, so music has a two-year program and a three-year program. Uh, the two-year program is called music, and the three-year program is um, professional music and SOG techniques. So, um, oh, here, let's see some things here too. Uh, so music is also offered as a uh, double deck with science, with social science, and with languages and cultures. And we also have a double deck with science and social science if you want to do the two of those. Uh, so that concludes our tour. Oh, he says someone wrote, hold on, sorry. Students whose first language isn't English must do a test, but do they get placed in class with students of the same English average? For whichever program. So there is a placement test, whether English is your first language or second language, there's a placement test um, for your level of English, but your other courses, your program courses, are going to be mixed with uh, all the levels. And we have another question from another student, I'm just answering these quickly because we we're about to conclude. Um, where were you guys the first hour? Est-ce qu'on pourra avoir des cours en français ou c'est toujours en anglais? Donc, Cégep Fanny, c'est un Cégep anglophone, mais comme j'ai mentionné, Euh, avant, on a deux programmes qui sont bilingues. C'est sciences et sciences humaines. C'est seulement offert dans ces deux-là. Euh, Peut-être il y aura d'autres dans le futur, mais pour l'instant, pour c'est juste ces deux programmes-là. Et c'est un partenariat avec le Cégep Saint-Laurent. Donc, vous pouvez appliquer à un ou l'autre dans le programme bilingue et vous allez étudier dans les deux euh, Cégep. All right. So, that concludes our tour. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's all get in this frame here. Yeah. <laughs> um, any other questions, you can comment below. Um, we're going to be answering them periodically. I don't think we got all the comments because I, I didn't get that many today. Um, so we will, we will answer all your comments if, uh, if you do have other questions. And this video will stay on Facebook. Um, so you could rewatch it over and over again to answer any more questions you might have. So thank you so much. and. Um, Hope to see you next year. <laughs> Bye. 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 Take care. Thank you. Bye. -bye.